If this building is to say something in contemporary culture, it probably needs a lot of imagination around it. Just by being here to some people, it already says something. But increasingly to people who, say, don't affiliate with a particular church, it'd be an interesting building at the corner of Vincent Street and Charles Street. Uh, but for people who understand a little bit where it came from, it, it can say something. So the challenge today is a building like this. How can it be used for everyone? I first met uh, the Redemptorists in their work. I lived in the country, and the Redemptorists were one of the few orders that would preach through the country. It was the next best thing after the circus when the mission came to town. <laughs> it seemed as I saw them that they had something significant to say, something significant to do, and uh, I thought, yeah, maybe I could throw my hat in there. And when I tried it out, I thought it, it fitted, yeah. other places I've lived, they're all for the same purpose of our mission, which is to be with people and to just reveal that God is present wherever people are. Each place has a different flavour and, and different possibilities. Uh, when you live in a small place, as I have lived, uh, the emphasis tends to be on the work you do when you're away from the house. But here we can do a lot of things right in the house. I mean, this is a big place, has big possibilities. Seven priests live full-time at the monastery here. The major part of my role uh, to provide uh, some logistical support to, to uh, the men that are obviously doing some you know, really good and valuable community work. Father Nixon's probably the third boss that I had since I've been here. But at the same time, he's finding his feet, just familiarising himself with Perth, who's uh, occupying a bit of his time at the moment. And of course, we've got an unusual situation with an ordination coming up, which is something that hasn't happened in my time here. It's a rather big event. To be ordained a priest is um, to be called to leadership in the community and to be called to pastoral care in a community. I chose this place at Perth as, um, as my future mission because last year I spent about five weeks in this North Perth community and uh, I found that people very warm and have a good sense of community. <laughs> he's probably got more assistance from us than he's, than he's wanted. <laughs> no, what we give him more than anything is, is accompaniment. We're his brothers. He's got to live with us and then we're going to live with him. So laughing over some things, picking up the pieces when things go wrong, that sort of thing together, yeah. We have a saying that we find God in the people we work with and hopefully they find God in us. No one has all the answers here. It's a journey together. And for our message to be effective, we need the people to listen to. So what we're really about is um, believing in people. The monastery's always had a history of volunteer workers. A lot of her come from the retirement village adjacent to us, which is actually part of the original monastery. It's kept a lot of people in the local community and also kept their attachment to the church. I would love that this monastery is always a very inclusive place, that people of all stripes can feel it's one part of the city that's their home. I hope this is the place where people can feel like kick their shoes off. And when you kick your shoes off, you can you can say things like it is too, so the people who come here, I hope, wouldn't check anything at the door. If they've got opinions, they bring them in. We may or may not uh, agree with the opinions, but that's not the point. Uh, we believe in people. Here's cheers. Thanks, yeah, just uh, thanks, thank you. thanks very much. For those who are getting married, their wedding is a big day. And so for me, ordination is a big day. Uh, a lot of people turn up. Our 
our family, our friends, our conference, the faithful community, they will come. So it's quite an inspiring event for me. Joseph has been a missionary for many years now. This is just one part of his missionary journey. And his appointment's going to be here in Perth, and as he said himself, he hopes to work with young people. And I don't see any reason why he won't. My dad and my brother just brought me a, an investment for the day as a gift. <laughs> I have tried it, and it's a bit long, <laughs> but I think it's fine because this is a handmade investment. Yeah, I think it's really a nice gift for me. Even people who don't have a faith language still in their own way bless their children every day. Husbands bless their wives and wives their husbands. It's one of the gifts they consciously can bring to each other of just blessing each other. People have allowed over the ages to see God in the special blessing of the priest and that's why people were happy to wait there for a considerable time to receive Joseph's blessing. It's not that you have to be blessed by the priest to be blessed by God, but that becomes a powerful symbol of being blessed by God. Joseph, I'm sure, will find, as I have found myself, that it's basically being with people. It's always been like that, and please God, it always will be. Yeah. So it makes our calling very people-centered. The last few days, uh, I wouldn't say it was stressful, it was a bit busy, yeah, especially when I'd only been here a couple of weeks. But I um, had good friends around me and good community around me and we share the burden, get there together. And we got there together. <laughs> a bit like you can't plan for everything today, I can't plan for everything for the future. You've got to leave a bit of room for God somewhere, a bit of room for life. You know, life's bigger than me, bigger than all of us. So uh, the art, I think, uh, is just to leave a bit of room for it and try and find God in it. Hmm find each other in it. <laughs>